kind of early on, you know, they you just couldn't get off the field with them. I think they scored the first four times they had the ball, and sometimes they were just kind of methodically driving, just mm -hmm. know they're good, but what, what, how tough was it to get off the field, and what, what was the biggest reasons why you just probably just couldn't get those stops when you needed to? I mean, we had them, you know, in a lot of third downs, but the thing is, as a defense, we just got to be able to finish, and, you know, we didn't, we, we didn't do that today. We didn't finish. We didn't get them off the field in third down. We kept giving them chance after chance after chance. And when you keep giving the offense, you know, like Boise, chance after chance after chance, they're going to put some points up. So, you know, it was just, that was on us. You know, we got we to gotta be able to come out there as a defense, play physical through first, second, third down, get them off the field, and then let our offense, you know, go out there and try to make some points. Yeah, I think of their first two drive, or two of their first four scoring drives was 14 and 15 plays. Mm -hmm. How tough is it after those, or even at the end of those? Are you getting fatigued? I mean, what are those like? Yeah, you know, it's tough because, you know, I, I mean, as a defense, Obviously, you want to get those three and outs, but you don't want to just give them big plays, you know, so you want to try to, if they're going to score, they got to go the distance, and they did that, you know, so that's credit to their offense. But, yeah, you know, it, it, gets, it gets tiring after a while, you know, because you fight, you fight, you fight. It's full speed. Every play, every play, you might have to chase someone down from all the way across the field. You get a little tired, but the thing is, when you're a defense, you got to be a warrior. you got to be able to stay in and fight because you don't come off the field. Jay, yeah, I know it's, you know, you're worried about you, but when Cam went out, you don't know the prognosis yet, but the, you still tell just a big error who got let out of the sales when, when he went out, when the starting quarterback went out, or did you notice a big difference? Um, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I didn't really notice, like, you know, too much of a big difference, you know, because we got people who are ready to step up. Um, I don't know what's going on with Cam. You know, I hope he's all right. You know, I mean, it didn't really look too bad to me when I, when I was watching, but I don't know what's going on. You know, I'm just on the bench talking to defensive coaches. We're just scheming while they're out there playing. So I hope he's, I hope he's good. But, um, you know, we got people who can come in and step up because that's their job. DJ, what's the mood like in the locker room after the game? You know, everyone's, you know, it's, it's tough. When you lose, it hurts, and especially when, you, when you've lost a lot, you know, when you're having a losing season. I mean, we, you can't use the excuse, oh, oh we're, we're a young team, because, no, we got experience now. We played game after game after game. We've played, you know, a whole bunch of different competition. But it's like, you know, we're not going to quit. We're never going to give up. You know, every, everyone in there is going to fight to the last second is off the clock. But, it's, it, you know, it's hard when you... You go to practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, Friday, we practice hard every day. And then we come out here, we fight, and then we lose, you know. But the thing is, you know, the, the older guys, we just got to stay on those younger guys and tell them, you know, you got to keep fighting because there's something to learn out of every loss. And, you know, you can't get to the top unless you've been to the bottom, you know what I mean? All right, thank you.